We'll begin solving this question by first examining the air linseed oil interface. So we're going to zoom in on this portion of the picture. If we examine the diagram very carefully, we will notice that we have two parallel lines. This dashed line here is parallel to this dashed line here. And then you can see that there is a third line that joins them. And perhaps we have learned from a geometry class that when you have two parallel lines cut by a third line, then the so-called alternate interior angles are congruent. So if this angle here is 20 degrees, then this alternate interior angle is also going to be 20 degrees. Now, after recognizing that, we can apply Snell's law to the air linseed oil interface. Rather than saying n1 and theta1, n2 and theta2, we have replaced those subscripts with the actual materials in which the light is traveling. So we have air on the left side and oil on the right side. Now, many of these values are known, but what we do not presently know is the incident angle at the air side of the interface. So we're going to be solving for this angle right here. The other values are known. For example, the index of refraction of air is a well-known value equal to 1. And then the question gives us the index of refraction for the linseed oil. That is 1.48. And then as determined, we have the refracted angle in the linseed oil. That is 20 degrees. We've plugged all the data in, and on the right-hand side, setting your calculator to degree mode, you can multiply the 1.48 by the sine of 20. You should get the following value. We can then divide both sides of the equation by 1 to cancel it on the left side. And then to solve for theta, what we do is we actually take the inverse sine on both sides. A lot of students tell me they'll divide by sine. That would be incorrect. You take the inverse sine so that the inverse sine cancels the sine. And when you punch that into your calculator, you should find that the angle of incidence in the air is about 30.4 degrees. Now, the diagram symbolized this as just theta, so if you prefer, you can just say theta is equal to 30.4 degrees. Either way, that is the correct answer to find theta. Now we have to look at theta prime, so let's examine the other interface in this problem. In this case, the interface is that between oil and water. We will go ahead and set up another Snell's Law calculation. Once again, we have used subscripts for oil and water, the respective media through which the light is traveling. We'll go ahead and plug in the values. Again, we know the index of refraction for oil is the 1.48. The incident angle at the oil side of the interface was labeled in the diagram as 20 degrees. And then the index of refraction for water can be looked up in a table that's present in this chapter. It turns out to be 1.333. We'll pick up our calculators and we will punch in the left side and when we do so, we get about 0 0.5062. We'll then divide both sides of the equation by 1.333. This gives us 0.3797 on the left side. And then finally, to solve for theta, just like before, we're going to take the inverse sine of both sides of the equation. This cancels it on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, you put that into your calculator, you're going to get about 22.3 degrees. That would be the refracted angle of the light as it travels into the water side of the interface. The diagram called that theta prime, so you can also denote it in that fashion too. So this is the correct answer to the second part of the question.